Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And if you're new, welcome. We're happy to have you here. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that Today subscribe we're going to be doing button. That if you could only keep one tag, it was created by Kelly Gooch. I will link her channel below. I really like her channel. She's just so nice and has the best personality. And I really like her content. I think this tag was a great idea. I've seen a lot of other people do it and I enjoyed it, so I thought I would try it. So What's cool about this tag is that you have to think, really think if you could only keep one item in each category, it's not always gonna be your favorite because your favorite might not be practical. Your favorite lipstick might be neon purple, for example, but there might be situations in your life where you can't wear neon purple every day. So it's kind of, I like how it kind of makes you think a little bit. Starting so let's with primers. On. This one was really easy for me. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I had recently used one up in a project pan and now this is the next one from this year and I'm already halfway done with it, which is kind of crazy as it is a full size, but I've just been using it a lot lately. If you have dry skin or extra dry skin, this primer is just amazing. It makes the foundation lay so beautiful on your skin. This is $42, but I forget who figured out the secret. Someone figured out that you can buy two travel size and it has the same amount of product and the travel size are $15 each. So you can get two travel size and you'll only be spending $30, which I think is a little bit better of a price. So I'm really excited about that and actually did order two from Ulta. Um, even though this is full size, I got this 40% off back in January. It was kind of still new. So Ulta was having a sale on it, kind of to get people to test it out. And since I had bought one bottle at full price, I definitely wanted to stock up. I had a skin condition I was dealing with recently it was these dry patches around my mouth and the medication that doctors suggest did not fix it. And this primer is what ended up fixing my skin. So I just live for it. And I suggest it to lots of people. Next we're going to do blush. And I'm not someone that always wears blush. I'm actually not wearing any today, but I do wear it sometimes. And when I do wear it, I like the Amazement Blush by Dose of Colors. It's this gorgeous peach color. I really like peach blushes a lot better than pink blushes. I do suffer with some redness sometimes, so I'm like, why do I wanna add more red to my face? Now and then there might be like a very light pink I enjoy, but mostly I enjoy peach blushes and this is the one I prefer. I have very few blushes in my collection. I think I literally have three and this is the one that gets the most use. So for foundation, um, if you would have asked me a couple of months back, I would have told you the Hourglass Vanishing Stick. But when I was having some really tough issues with my skin lately, when it was extra, extra dry, that foundation usually works for me and it just wasn't working. So I have to go with something that's going to work year round. So this is the It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I think this is the perfect one to pick for me because I have really dry skin. So the CC cream, it's not as thick of a coverage, but it covers just enough. And I think um, it's just a good fit for me. I really also like their Bye Bye Foundation Tinted Moisturizer, but sometimes this doesn't give enough coverage. So it couldn't be the only one that I kept. I need like the right consistency and the right coverage. So this one is the winner. I wear the shade light in case we have a similar skin tone. My concealer, I've actually finished one up and I have not opened the one in my backup drawer yet, but my favorite concealer is easily the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm not wearing it today because I wear shape tape when I film, but it's my favorite everyday concealer. The only reason I haven't opened it is because I'm panning a NARS one, but I love it. When they first came out with it, my shade is light neutral 10, but now they've made more shades. Um, so the shades kind of moved around. So I've ordered a few, but I haven't had a chance to open them to see what my new shade is. But in the original lineup, my shade was light neutral 10 if you're trying to figure out the shade. Because if there's a, they have a little chart that shows you kind of like what the old shades were. It's just a really good consistency. It covers, but it's just not too, too full coverage. Because in regular walking around every day, I feel like the shape tape is like too much for me. But on camera with all the lights, um, it does look really nice. Next is my favorite setting powder or favorite face powder. It's definitely, it's a pricey one, but I love it. It's the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder. I like the shade Diffuse Light. 
This is a brand new one that my mom just got for me. Thank you, mom, because this is not cheap. Um, I really enjoy this because my skin is so dry and I do like to wear CC creams and tinted moisturizers a lot instead of foundation. If I use too thick of a powder, it literally like just does not look good. It looks too cakey. So this is like very light and magical and just makes you look all glowy. So I really, really enjoy it. But it is super expensive. So if I had to pick a second one um, to recommend for someone that has like similar skin to me, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, which is still, I mean, it's not drugstore. It's still high end, but it is cheaper than the Hourglass. But these are really like the two powders that always work well for my skin, even when it's at its driest of dry moments. So our next item is bronzer. This was one that came easy to me. I like the Becca Sunlit Bronzers and my shade is Bali Sands. It's a gorgeous bronzer. As you can see, I hit pan on it. They're a little bit pricey, but bronzers last forever, so that's okay. Um, I just love it. It looks so natural, so pretty, so good. Even though I, I'm not wearing it today, but the reason is um, I'm trying to pan my butter bronzer, which is my like second place bronzer. But yeah, if I had to pick between the two, I, I like this one a little bit better. It's just taking a tiny hiatus until I finally hit pan on that butter bronzer because I've been working on it for a while. Mascara, I chose the Essence Lash Princess. It's very affordable. It's either $2.99 or $3.99. You can get it at Ulta and it's perfect for me. It has like the little, um, this is a nice brand new tube. I just finished one up um, last week. It has like this little Christmas tree wand. It's very thin and it's just good for my eye shape. I have very small eyes and they're deep set. So well, some people really love the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, I hate that one. It just doesn't work for me because the wand is so thick. So it's not good for my eye shape. So between how good this works and the low price, this would be the one mascara I would keep. Now the next one you know is hard for me because it's highlighters and I love highlighters. Today I'm glowing with the Becca Champagne Pop which is in one of my project pans. Really love this. It actually makes my favorite highlighter formula. So you would think I would choose one of them as my highlighter. But I had to go with my second favorite formula which, which is the Anastasia. And the reason I went with that is because this way I could keep a glow kit. So instead of having one shade like I would with the Becca, I have four shades. I don't know if that's cheating or not because it, it's not one highlighter pan, but it is one product. Um, this counts as one product, so I really don't think it's cheating. Um, so you get four different shades and three of them look really good as a face highlight for me. One that's slightly too dark, but that one I put over here sometimes like to highlight my body depending on what shirt I'm wearing. So yeah, I really love this palette. Marshmallow and Starburst are my two favorite and I would definitely keep it if I had to give the rest away. Now we get down to something that's even harder than a highlight, the eyeshadow palettes. And it's like, I don't wanna live in a color-free world, but I also don't wanna be forced to always wear neutrals. So I was like really unsure of what to pick. It took a while, and even though it's not my favorite palette, it's one of my favorites, but not the favorite, I decided to pick the Violet Voss Holy Grail. And the reason I picked it is because you have all these beautiful like cranberry tones, which I really like to wear. You also have like some oranges and then you also do have some neutrals. I just thought it provided a good mix and that would be a really good thing if you could only keep one palette. So um, I think it's really pretty and I really enjoy it. I like the formula. So I think it has, it has both mattes and shimmers, which is important to me because I like to have a shimmer on my lid typically. So I couldn't pick an all matte palette. So, um, yeah, it was a hard decision, but I definitely think this is a good choice. It, the question is not like this, but say we were allowed to keep one colorful palette and one neutral. If I would have actually kept the Violet Voss hashtag, I'll put up a picture because it has purples and yellows and some other fun colors. For my neutral palette, I would have picked the ColourPop um, I Think I Love You, again, because I like how it has both mattes and shimmers. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette is my favorite neutral palette, but it doesn't have the shimmers. I usually combine it with another palette or a single shadow, so I couldn't pick it. So even if I, even if we were allowed one colorful and one um, 
neutral. It's really still hard to pick out a palette, so, but this is a great neutral palette if you do like both shimmers and mattes. I think this was a really creative tag. It just really makes you think. So then um, for bullet lipstick, um, I like the Bite Beauty formula. It is very expensive and I don't have too many of them, but it's really comfortable. And this is the shade Pisces. I wasn't sure if it was just the formula or if we had to pick one shade, but this would be like, a, it's a nice peachy shade that would go with a lot of looks. So I think it would be a good choice, both shade wise and formula wise. Very, very comfortable. They're the Amouche Bouche lipsticks by Bite. What lipsticks? Um, by formula, I think I would pick Kat Von D the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. This one is actually in the color Lovecraft. But if we want to go for color, um, I kind of actually like the color I'm wearing today. It's by Jeffree Star, it's called Nathan. I just think it would go like with a lot of different looks because it's kind of nice and neutral. But I mean, even this goes with a lot of looks. So I'm kind of torn. So I would say this for formula and this, if I guess I had to like pick a special color to keep. Um, yeah, I mean, you have, I have so many products. It gets so like crazy. Both really good. The Jeffree Star, if you're not familiar, the full name is their Velour Liquid Lipsticks. The final one we have is lip gloss. And I'm so thankful I am now a lip gloss wearing lady. Um, I used to like really not like gloss last year, but then I found some good glosses that are better than the ones I used to wear in the past. I have three favorite formulas actually. Um, my favorite formulas are the Dose of Colors, the, like the newer formula they released more recently, Marc Jacobs and Fenty Beauty. Um, so I actually went with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb only because again, I didn't know if we had to be based on color. This color literally, like it's kind of like a your lips but better and it goes with like anything. So I figure if I could only pick one, this would go with really any look and it's so comfortable and I just love it so much. Those are all the items I would pick if I could only keep one. And yeah, it's crazy because some of my favorites could not make the cut, but it's just what it is. So if you thought this tag was fun, um, let me know down below. And if you'd like to do the tag, I officially tag you, feel free to do so. And let me know if you do it because I can come over and watch you. So let me know down below what, what items you would keep if you had to get rid of a lot of your makeup collection. If you, would, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so, so much. Bye.